Where do we begin? Perhaps the biggest headline out of the night was when Donald Trump would not commit to saying whether he would recognize the outcome of the election. Do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. What I've seen, what I've seen is so bad. First of all, the media is so dishonest and so corrupt, and the pile-on is so amazing. And the New York Times actually wrote an article about it that they don't even care. It's so dishonest, and they've poisoned the minds of the voters. But unfortunately for them, I think the voters are seeing through it. If you look at your voter rolls, you will see millions of people that are registered to vote. Millions. This isn't coming from me. This is coming from Pew Report and other places. Millions of people that are registered to vote that shouldn't be registered to vote. So let me just give you one other thing. So I talk about the corrupt media. I talk about the millions of people. Tell you one other thing. She shouldn't be allowed to run. It's cro it, she's, she's guilty of a very, very serious crime. Sir, there is a tradition in this country, in fact, one of the prides of this country, is the peaceful transition of power, and that no matter how hard fought a campaign is, that at the end of the campaign, that the loser concedes to the winner, not saying that you're necessarily going to be the loser or the winner, but that the loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Some Republican lawmakers in battleground states condemned Donald Trump's answer on accepting the election's results last night. Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona tweeted Donald Trump saying that he might not accept election results is beyond the pale. Congressman Carlos Corbello of Florida said peaceful transfer of power and acceptance of election results is fundamental to our democracy and constitution. This cannot be undermined ever. And Senator Lindsey Graham said during this debate, Mr. Trump is doing the party and the country a great disservice. Service. If he loses, it will not be because the system is rigged, but because he failed as a candidate. By the way, all three of those Republicans, I think, have, have never supported Donald Trump, mm -hmm. correct? But no, neither, none no, of them. Not even close. But no. Trump's top campaign surrogates are likening his answer on waiting to see what happens to another disrupted race in recent history. The election in 2000, remember that? When a razor-thin margin in Florida led to a recount and Democrat Al Gore waited 36 days before conceding to Republican George W. Bush. Do you remember Al Gore in 2000? Nobody says ahead of time that they're not that they're going to contest the election, but Al Gore did for many days. In fact, he retracted his concession. I remember it was pouring rain in Austin. He conceded the election to Al Gore to George W. Bush, and then he retracted his concession. He went all the way to the Supreme Court. He said he would not give in to whatever the result was if he didn't think it was fairly done. That's what Al Gore did. Did he accept the results? He ch challenged the election. It was a very razor-thin election. He challenged it. Well, the election is too close. Of course he wouldn't accept it. Al Gore didn't accept it, did he? He went to court. We're talking about being green, not even being too close. Well, if it's, if, it's very, if it's a very big margin, then even if it's rigged, it won't matter. It'll only matter if it's a very small margin. And Al Gore did exactly that. I mean, everybody is shocked from my co watching coverage last night and this morning. Everybody is shocked and horrified that Donald Trump would suggest that he was going to wait and that he's even used the words rigged. I, I heard people last night saying that he's the first person to ever do this, that this actually cuts at the very heart of America's credibility. Well, uh, there were so many incredible moments last night. Both of them came loaded to yeah. attack each other and that we want to get to them all. But at, to this point, because there was a lot of reaction to this, it is the case that charges of a rigged or stolen election do not exclusively belong to Republicans. Democrats and liberals have accused the vote of being rigged or stolen for George W. Bush both in 2000 and 2004 and have done so for years. 
Jonathan Chait wrote in New York Magazine in 2012, yes, Bush v. Gore did steal the election. Also in 2012, Salon asked, is the GOP stealing <coughs> Ohio? In 2014, Ezra Klein of Vox wrote that 68% of Americans think elections are rigged. And he said they're right in, in that article. In 2000, Jesse Jackson demanded an inquiry at the results in Florida, saying shortly after the election, 22,000 people are begging for their vote to count and for its intent to be realized. This last vote caused a crisis in the credibility of this election. This is a crisis of integrity. We, the American people, deserve better. We should settle for nothing less. In 2006, Rolling Stone published a lengthy article asking, was the 2004 election stolen? They also published the interview uh, with Howard Dean, which said this, Howard said this, I'm not confident that the election in Ohio was fairly decided. We know that there was substantial voter suppression and the machines were not reliable. It should not be a surprise that the Republicans are willing to do things that are unethical to manipulate elections. That's what we suspect has happened. And we'd like to safeguard our elections so that democracy can still be counted to, on to work. Later in that year, in October, Josh Marshall wrote about Ohio Secretary of State Ken Blackwell stealing the election. And a portion of Michael Moore's documentary, 2004, Fahrenheit 9-11, tried to delegitimize the 2000 results in Florida. And, and, so. and you know, also, as you said, uh, at Willie's, we said, coming on, there are several to get people to. in 2004. I mean, there are ton, tons that you can get to, but in 2004, uh, there were certain people uh, around these parts that were going on TV every night saying that Ohio was stolen, that it was rigged. Uh, the, uh, I guess Bobby Kennedy Jr. Didn't he write? He wrote the Rolling Stone piece that you wrote the Rolling there about Stone the voting piece. machines in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Donald Trump is saying this. The difference is before the right, election. Before, yeah. I mean, and it's coming from the very top of the ticket before anybody goes to vote. And he's on a downward slide, so it looks like here's my out for why I lose. The other thing is Kellyanne Conway, Mike Pence. Rudy Giuliani, all the people you just saw in that clip said not 30 minutes before the debate last night, of course we'll respect the results of the election. Yeah, of course we will. And then he subverted them during the debate yeah. and they had to come in after and clean that up. So this is a little different. Harold? A couple things. She won the debate last night too. To Willie's point, this do you is think, happening. Well, why do you say that? I, how, how do you just say that and then just roll right through it? She because I believe that. Now, if you want to, we can, we can litigate that. No, I, I no, I would just say, it's like, I thought it was like, a great like fight. me saying the Alabama's going to win the I'm national sure. championship. You should well, want to know why I think Alabama's going to win the national championship. Why do you think she won the debate? He needed to do more than he did last night, and he didn't do that. I thought that she handed him a number of opportunities to, to actually talk about issues, talk about his vision for the future. He didn't. Instead, he fell for the trap. And now all we're talking about this morning is whether or not he will accept the results. The difference in all of those quotes that you laid out, as Willie said, that was all after. Indeed, the issue in Florida, what triggered the issue in Florida were two things. One, the closeness of the race. And Joe, you were a congressman from there. And two, mm -hmm. the fact that there were a number of people who thought they were voting for Al Gore, but were actually voting. Right. Uh, for someone else. So there were a number of reasons, and that was the reason that we actually had a recount. I respect what Kelly and Conway said. I don't quite understand what Mayor Giuliani is referring to, but this is all this all happened after the race. Right. And in addition, Al Gore accepted the outcome of the uh, Supreme Court decision. And my understanding is that, right. that from what Mr. Trump is saying, he may not be willing to accept the outcome. No, that I, fundamentally I, I actually, is the what, difference. What, what was the exact quote? He said, he said I'll said, leave you in suspense. Uh, he said, I'll look at it at the time. I'll look at it at the time. Keep you in suspense. Right. So that means he's not willing to say, I will accept the outcome if you are some, uh, No, what that running. means is he'll look at it at the time. I love everybody saying, you know, I, I woke up to these screaming headlines saying, Donald Trump will not respect election results. He actually said, I'll look at it at the time. I'll see. Have, has there if, ever been if, a presidential candidate to say that? If they're voting irregularities, then I, any presidential candidate, anybody, so what, what would you have said? But we would all stand here what and would you have said that. What would your response be to that question? I said, yeah, I certainly, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly respect the outcome of the election. I, of course, will want to make sure that well, it's fair. Well, he didn't fair. say that. I will want to make sure that it's fair. It's on the up and up. This but is he just, didn't say that. Yeah, but you know what? This is an example. The media got something they can absolutely freak out about and claim that he's an agent of Vladimir Putin and destroying democracy in America. And and it's just another example of the media having to find a little phrase and freak out. Joe, he's when as throughout. a Republican, I have listened to Democrats talk about the only two times we won the White House in like 800 years <laughs> that we stole both elections. I had to sit through Fahrenheit 911 and a lady was sobbing violently behind me on the Upper West Side about the election being stolen from George Bush. And I patted her halfway through and go, it's all right. It's all right, ma'am. But it's, Al Gore, it's, hold on. It's all right. 
it's all a lie anyway. Democrats have been whining for 16 years. They're still writing articles about how Bush stole the elections in 2000 and 2004. So this holier than thou attitude about this is the first time anyone has suggested that candidate. the election is not a sacrosanct process. It's a joke. So you guys bathe in that hypocrisy if you want to. I'd just like to hear how the debate went. Go but ahead. Joe, bathe. But Joe, you can't, you can't. The difference is what Michael just said. It's the candidate himself. You will have spectators, voters, political officials, elected officials, all contemplating writers saying that this didn't happen this way. They right. stole it. Bush did this. But you did, never had so, a presidential so let me, candidate let me do be what very he did specific. last night. My That's targets, the difference. My target this morning uh, for, for my, my mockery are the very people that are writing articles today on their blogs that are saying this is a threat to democracy. The electoral process in America is sacrosanct. And if we ever doubt this, are we no better than Putin? I mean, when, that's those are the people I'm mocking. So you can, I'm not, I'm when, not, but I'm, the, I'm not comparing him to Al Gore. But can you I'm acknowledge not there's never been a presidential Listen, candidate no. to do what he did last I, night? You know, Harold, that's why we're Harold, talking about this I'm, this morning. I'm not on the witness stand here. I'm just saying that it is rich. Nor am I trying to that treat the you very that way, thing that the Democrats are like. I had, a, I had a lady come up to me yesterday who I know very well she's a dear dear friend of the family and she said oh Joe oh Joe how horrible will it be if Kate has to grow up in a country with a president that doesn't respect women any more than Donald Trump I said it'll be about the same as having middle school boys grow up in a world where Bill Clinton was president of the United States it's pretty bad well, and you know, I said, I said, were you? I don't know how that. How I said, were you? To what I, we're talking about. Oh, it, it relates to the hypocrisy that Democrats forget everything that they've been saying on their blogs, in their newspapers, in their magazines over the past 16 years. I'm not even mad about it. It's like it's very funny. And here's the great thing. It's all on Google. I ask you to do what Hillary Clinton asked last night. Just Google all of this, and you will see that Democrats who were shocked and stunned and deeply saddened. This morning, with a very one hell, even Bernie Sanders supporters just six months ago were saying that Hillary Clinton was rigging the election. Well, they I mean, seriously, did you all bump your head, or do you just think we're that stupid? I think you think we're that stupid, and maybe I am, but the rest of Americans aren't. I'm going to have a sip now. I want to see some if, debate. If the, char if you know? the charge is hypocrisy <clears throat> I think you bring up among really pundits and the media, there's no question about it. Sex it's life complete. with Donald Trump and Bill Clinton. Oh, Forget my all that. God. Yeah. It's but this, unbelievable. But, but, sick. Coming, but, coming it from the, sick. but coming from the guy who could be president, coming from his mouth, Al Gore didn't say this two months before the election in 2000. And he accepted the outcome. Well, when John Kerry didn't say but it before. He it. And he's and it, and it, and it matters because it's been the theme of his campaign, that the country is rigged, he that everything is rigged, and now here it is, they're finally, as their last act, right. rigging the vote against us. Yeah. That's new and that's different. Hillary